So I wasn't going to bother making a video about Marvin Dubravka signing for Newcastle. Thinking to myself, well, he's already sort of their player anyway, isn't he? But I've decided, actually, this lad deserves to have a video. Because I'm trying to cover everyone that moves this summer into the Premier League. And any other big moves in the um, in Europe. So I made it. Had the microphone on mute, didn't I? So I was just so I've just got a video full of me, you know, talking but no noise, which is rather disturbing. So here we are again. Well, for you the first time. So Newcastle are thrilled to announce they have secured the permanent signing of Martin Dubravka. Now, this signing is for around three and a half million pounds, which is an absolute steal. Twenty-nine year old has become the first summer signing of the Newcastle United summer. He signed a contract until 2022 after the club exercised their option to buy him. Dubravka signed from Czech side Sparta Prague in January 2018 and quickly became a key member of the squad. He kept a clean sheet on his debut in an impressive performance against Manchester United, which they went on to win 1-0. He went on to make 12 appearances with the Magpies finishing 8th. Finishing 10th. Uh, this is what Rafa had to say. Uh, we're delighted to finalise the permanent signing of Martin to Newcastle today. Ever since he arrived on loan, he has shown fantastic attitude, a great work ethic, and of course, Bitten has been very impressed with their performances. I mean, he's been great for them. This is one of the key positions we needed to strengthen and have been concerned about, so it's excellent news that he's been wrapped up. The loan deal was a perfect option, um, a perfect way of you know, testing, try before you buy almost. Um, it's been a very, very good signing, very good signing, very good signing. And i got to be honest, I never heard of him. I never heard of Martin de Braffica before they signed him. And I don't think I'm the only person in the world who, who, who would say that, because I hadn't heard of him. I hadn't heard of him. I mean, look at the side. He's played for Slovakia, Slovakia under 21, Slovakia under 19. He's played in the uh, Slovak Super League, the Danish Super League, and the Czech First League. And now he's been in the Premier League. This is a massive credit to Rafa and his team. Because this bloke just signed out of nowhere. They signed him from out of nowhere. And, you know, that's somebody we haven't heard of. And he came in and he's done fantastic. And it goes to show these cheap little pickups are out there. He's been fantastic, fantastic for Newcastle. Um, he is one of the reasons they signed him. Um, these. One of the reasons they signed him is because of how fantastically he did. And he is the reason why they finished 10th. Um, he got many clean sheets for Newcastle. And he really made an impact. It is very good to see a manager who is able to get, you know, average players um, to do so well. Um, one thing that's been annoying me. And I'm sure it's been annoying Newcastle fans. They got an av they got an, a championship team. Newcastle they only have a championship team. I don't think that's right. I think that's disrespectful to Rafa. I think that's disrespectful to the Newcastle United players. I think it's disrespectful to the Newcastle United fans. Rafa's made them into Premier League players. If they were championship players, they'd have gone down. They wouldn't finish 10th. He has made that lot of players into Premier League players. And that's what he has done. 
and massive congratulations uh, to how well they've done. Uh, I, I feel like they're not getting enough credit here. You know, they're an average team, albeit an average team, but they're not a championship team, not anymore. He's made very good pickups. So, let me know your thoughts down below on Dubravka signing for Newcastle. Are you thrilled? Are you not overly fussed by him? I mean, you've got to be fussed by him. You know, he's a key part of you know why you stayed up. Tell me all of your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you're new. I am Mike, and I will see you soon.